Thanks for coming over to this Amadeus. Today's Dungeon Hunter Champion video is about team composition and the role of the cleanser. In Dungeon Hunter Champions, there's a lot of reasons teams fail. One of the most common is because teams can't handle the debuffs applied by the Elder Drake Steelwood or Outer Harbinger, or the champions in the waves leading up to the boss fight take you out. Now, there's a lot of different debuffs in the game, <laughs> and breaking each one down is probably for another video. Today we want to talk about what to do once you're debuffed. So first, each raid definitely has a different buff that you have to handle, and you need to know what they are. But for today, we don't have to worry about them, because there's a whole slew of champions we're going to talk about that take care of this issue, ranging from the Nature Crystal Priest and Light Dark Dryads, all the way to the Archangels and Vampires. Now, lots of folks call these champions cleansers, but they have a lot of other roles that they're really more prone to being on your team for. For instance, a very popular free-to-play cleanser in arena that is in the top 10 arena defenses today is the Dark Dryad Violet. Now, she's popular because she cleanses one debuff per champion, heals everyone on the team, and on Dazzling Gear, her crowd control skills can disrupt just about any AO with massive stuns. Now, this is a lot of versatility for one champion, and because of this, she's been the focus of several nerfs and yet she still has a place in top arena defenses. Now, before anyone runs off and builds her as their main cleanser, uh, we had to take into consideration her role in the arena team composition, because despite all this usefulness, the nerf targeting, and in-game presence on arena defenses, she is not widely used in Elder Drake, Steel Widow, or any of the other raid content. And this is just because your arena teams are more limited in both size and fight duration. And this means your team composition everywhere else could benefit from a specialized group cleanser, um, additional immunity units, we did a video about that yesterday, or, or some combination of the two, right? And it's important to note when we talk about cleansing that there's a couple of different types of cleanses and cleansing units in Dungeon Hunter Champions. To keep it simple, today we're going to break it up into two groups. So there are group cleansers and individual cleansers. Group cleansers remove at least one buff from the whole team, individual cleansers remove at least one buff from one individual champion. Now, champions like Fire, Nature, and Light Crystal Priests, the Light and Dark Dryad, the Fire and Dark Timekeepers, um, they all remove buffs from the entire team. In fact, the Fire and Dark Timekeepers actually remove two buffs from your entire team, uh, which is why they're so valuable in Steel Widow, and one of the reasons we're going to show them off today. Now, cleansing two debuffs is perfect in Steel Widow. Unless, of course, you get a ton of debuffs stuck on you because somebody gets stunned, right? In which case, Yuko is a great unit to have on your roster because she removes all debuffs. Now, in these situations, all the units we mentioned have a primary role of healing, stripping, or doing damage. And this is important to keep in mind because adding an individual cleanser can help keep the debuffs away without sacrificing anything. And this is why single target cleansers are nice add-ons for every team. Um, you know, at least every team that might encounter a debuff, right? So, especially teams that are running immunity that isn't up 100%, uh, these individual cleansers can fill in that small gap when RNG tries to wreck you. For instance, I can think of one champion in particular, and let me know in the comments if you agree or not, but I think the single target cleanser with the most comprehensive skill kit for a free-to-play team, regardless of the content, is Light Archangel. Now, this misses a lot of folks, but all the Archangels have a conditional single target cleanse on their auto attack. So, the uh, basically it's every eighth attack, it will cleanse nearby alley of all debuffs. Now, combined with everything else you want to bring with the Light Archangel, as far as tankiness and shields and stacking, all of that, uh, just add that little individual cleanse on there too. And you can see that he's well worth adding to your list. And this is the point where, like, I usually assume that we're all on the same page, but I want to open it up to the conversation below because I'm sure somebody else has a different opinion, like, which individual cleanser is the best for people, free-to-play, in-game, mid-game, early game. Just, you know, drop your comments below, let us know, because what I want to do now is I actually want to show these cool cats in practice, or actually in action, right? I want, I want to show this off. So we're going to jump into Steel Widow 11, and we're going to go through it together real quick. And I say real quick because this is a... This is a sub one minute team and it doesn't utilize a healer because we have uh, the light archangel in here, really buff, we went through his gear earlier, and we have Vamal 
And together what they do is they allow a lot of skill cycling. And I've talked about this before and I might actually do a separate video around skill cycling and how important it is for team composition. But if you just look, we went through everything, no worries. Now we'll get hit immediately with these webs and it should give us some debuffs, but they won't last long. Look at this, boom, gone. And all of those disappeared because 100% of the Light Archangel, right? Because um, Vamal only removes two and that was three buffs that just disappeared. So these debuffs aren't staying long enough to really hurt us, even ongoing damage, which takes away 5% of your overall HP every tick or more because this is a boss OGD, who knows? That even that doesn't matter as much. It doesn't burn through our shields. So having these two units on your team to help cleanse and support are great. I don't even think that you have to look at Monas to heal, or look at Vamal to heal, look at that. He didn't even heal because nothing ever got through the shields because they worked together to cleanse everything off to keep those things up. What a, what a great, what a, what a great, uh, like exclamation point to the video as far as like how important it is to have cleansers to be able to do what you want to do. As always, thanks for watching the videos, guys. Have a great day. Bye.